Tha, agreed. We can go ahead and do volume and FX automations to the minutest of the details, something like this. But we might just spend up hours and hours on that and it might not lead us anywhere. But there's a fix for this as well. We can sidechain the FX sense of the vocal chain so that we have a clear and crisp sounding dry signal as well as the reverb between the gaps or the spoken words. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to sidechain your FX sense, especially reverb for your vocals so that you have a great and crisp sounding vocals. So let's jump in. All right, peeps. So here we are back in Logic and there might be something off in this video. Well, you're not seeing me wearing one of these because, well, it's tight. Uh, so I think it's to do with the uh, the stereo rings. I'm not too sure what it's called. I'll, I'll just kind of mention it on the video. I'm not able to recall right now. But I don't know if it's focused or not, but it's the 3.5mm jack stereo rings and uh, I use an adapter with this uh, for my audio interface and earlier I think I I thought it was my audio interface that was acting very weird but uh, then I figured it out it's the headphones because I plugged it in my other laptop and it has a 3.5mm jack and yes uh, it's kind of acting like a mono so if you guys know any solution to fix this, please let me know in the comments down below. But uh, as of now, it's not working well. So a new pair of headphones will be in order. I haven't yet ordered yet because I've just found out that this is not working while I was shooting this video. Right now, I'm just using my handy dandy RHA's in-ear monitors. And uh, yeah, a new gear review is in order. But jumping straight into the vocal reverb sidechain effect. So here I have a small um, verse phrase and let's hear it without any effects i know time feels like a different kind we been trying i know this song will be fine so as you can hear, no reverbs or anything that is going into this main vocal verse. And let's come to the mixer and send this to a reverb send aux channel. And let's not sidechain and let's hear how it sounds. So I have two auxiliary channels here. One is for the vocal reverb and one is for the vocal delay. And I've already done a couple of videos on how you should send your vocal chain to an auxiliary channel for different effects. So I'll be linking the videos up on the iCard and also in the description box below so that you can go ahead and check them out. So over here, I have a vocal reverb chain, which is the bus one and a vocal delay, which is the bus two. So let's not engage the delay for now and let's check the vocal reverb. So I'm just sending the copy of the main lead to a vocal reverb and which has a channel EQ. I've just cut all of the lows, a uh, little bit resonancy pits or at about 395 Hertz and also cut out the airs at around 8,500 hertz. And then apart from that, I have a tal reverb, which is set to about 65% wetness, size is around 78%, modulation is zero. And here also I have cut the, uh, made use of the low cut and the high cut to kind of tame the reverb. So let's hear it, how it sounds. I know time. Feels like a different kind We've been trying I know this song will be fine So as you can hear it's all over the place and it's kind of sounding really robotic and it feels like there is some chorus involved as well but I don't have any chorus in the vocal chain and the main dry vocals and the phrases are not so clear and it's kind of getting lost behind the reverb. So let's go ahead and side chain the reverb sense. So I'm just removing this plugin, which is another reverb plugin, which I was experimenting with. And let's do a compressor and go ahead and select uh, the digital, the default uh, stock plugin inside of Logic. And let's side chain this to uh, this is our lead vocals. Let's then adjust the threshold and ratio to see how it sounds. I know time. So as you can hear, it's kind of 
uh, aggressively cutting when the vocals are coming in. And between the phrases, it's kind of opening it back. So it's kind of sounding really choppy. So let's experiment with putting the reverb below the compressor and above the compressor, but let's first adjust with the reverb above the compressor. So let's not have an aggressive threshold and let's tweak all of the parameters, the knee, attack, release, ratios and thresholds so that we are sounding pretty balanced across the mix. I know time feels like a different kind A slower release we so that kind of slowly comes, the reverb slowly comes in between the phrases. I know time feels like a different kind. So as you can hear, whenever the words are spoken, there is no reverb. It kind of ducks. And then when the phrases, the gaps between the phrases come in, the reverb kind of comes in, swells in. A little more smoothly. I know time. A too aggressive threshold would kind of uh, take out I all of the reverb and then come in back. Time. And you don't want that, so a little blend. Feels like a different kind. We been trying. No, this song will be fine. So it's sounding pretty okayish, but let's experiment with putting the reverb below the compressor and let's see what difference is it bringing. I know time feels like a different kind. So it has a much more smoother and calm attack and release ratio between the reverb and the dry signals and it's sounding much better in this case I know time maybe we can increase the threshold feels like a different kind to bring in more of the reverb we or decrease the ratio been trying and no this song will be fine. So all of the words when spoken are coming in dry. They are much more crisp and clear in the mix. And when the phrases stops, the reverb kind of swells in. I know time. So that's one way of using the sidechain on your vocal reverb sense channel against the main vocals so that whenever the main vocals come in, it kind of tucks below and when the phrases or the gaps come in, the reverb kind of swells in back. Another way is that you can sidechain the vocal reverb sense to the kick so that if you have an EDM track which has every four bar, uh, every fourth beat is a kick, then you can have that pumping effect for the reverb. So the kick pattern in this section sounds like this. I know time. like a different kind so in order to do that we can just go ahead and side chain the vocal reverb chain uh sorry the vocal reverb sense to the kick so in this case my instrument is uh, the audio is the kick so let's hear it now i no time feels like a different so if you're going for this kind of vibe that you want the reverb to kind of tuck in whenever the kick comes in, you can sidechain the vocal reverb sense to the kick. Or if you have a kick pattern which is much more complex and not straightforward and doesn't give you that pumpy feel, which in this case you're not getting the pump feel, then you can sidechain it to the lead track so that whenever the spoken words are coming in, the reverb kind of ducks in and then it opens up because in this sample you can hear that there are few gaps between the phrases and you wanted to fill it with the reverb I know time. and now the lead vocals feels like a different kind 
So here you can hear the reverb come in between the caps and it's not getting lost in the case of the kick. But it totally depends upon what kick pattern are you using in your music. If it's every fourth beat then and you want that pump feel then you can side chain it to the kick. Otherwise side chaining it to the lead vocals will solve the purpose. I know time. And there you have it. That's how you side chain the vocal reverb sense channel against a vocal reverb main try signal so that you have a balanced try and wet signal across your song. Okie okay, dokie okay, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you did because it's always good to hear your thoughts. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you like what I do here and want to see much more videos like this, support the channel by subscribing. It's just one single click, the red button right there. Also, don't forget to press that bell so that you can stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, cheers.